Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing the Niara Beauty Vitamin C Serum. I ended up giving this a three out of five stars, but definitely stay tuned until the end to see what I thought about it overall. So for one ounce of product, this is $17.99, so super affordable. Um, it has a very average face serum consistency. It's not overly thick, it's not overly thin, um, which always makes it really easy to apply. Um, the application of this is pretty easy for the most part. You know I love pump applicators, so um, I love that aspect of it. And you honestly just need one pump to cover your face and even drag it down your neck a little bit. Um, I found that it was like pretty comfortable to wear. Um, it does give you a tightening feeling on your skin though. So you know how a lot of anti-aging serums, like once it dries, it has that tightening feeling. It wasn't overly uncomfortable, but definitely I could feel after it dried um, that I was eager to put my moisturizer on. Um, so basically it says to cleanse your face first, completely dry it. It specifically mentioned to use a toner, which I do anyways, um, but if you don't use a toner, I don't think that's like a necessary step for this serum. But anyways, I cleanse and tone my face and let it dry and then use one pump um, and then follow it up with my other face products. I will say that it was a little bit difficult to apply my moisturizer and other face products on top of this, which is strange because it didn't leave behind a tacky residue. Um, it just felt tight, um, but it was pretty hard to actually work my moisturizer on. So it just added a little bit more work as far as my skincare routine went. Um, and then also this is supposed to be used both morning and night, and I found that it wore really well under my makeup, which is awesome. The dry time for this is so fast. It's about 15 seconds, which I love when it's a quick dry time because I just want to move on to the next step. Um, but one thing I hated about it was the smell. I'm always expecting a great smell from a vitamin C serum and instead this one smelled like chlorine in your swimming pool, which is like the strangest smell anyways, but it smelled like literally when you get out of a pool or you're in an indoor swimming pool, it was just a, such a gross scent. Luckily, when you apply other products on top, the smell completely goes away, but I just really hated the smell. It was so gross to me, so I did not like that. Um, so I used this at night first, and when I woke up the next morning, my skin looked basically the exact same, but my skin was so soft. You know when you have used products and your skin just, you just wanna rub your skin after you use it? That was definitely the case with this. So I, I did like that. Even though my skin looked the same, it felt really soft. Um, long term, this did a really nice job at evening out my skin tone. I saw a noticeable difference in my sunspots and age spots and discoloration. Um, so I loved that about it. It did take longer to see results than other anti-aging serums I've used, but it was really effective in taking away that discoloration in those um, sunspots. Unfortunately, it didn't do anything for fine lines and wrinkles. I, I don't think it touched them at all. And it also didn't help like clear up my complexion either. So I always have spots popping up and that continued with this face serum. Not any more than normal. It just um, didn't really clear up my skin either. Um, so that's why I gave it a three out of five stars. It was great in some areas, but not stellar. And then it's pretty easy to use, but there's definitely some components of it, like the smell or kind of the difficulty to layer products on top that I could do without, um, which is why I just got a three out of five. Um, let me know if you've tried this serum before and what your thoughts are. And then if you ever have any other face serums you want me to try out, make sure you comment that down below as well. If you want to see my full review on this, visit us at faceserum.com.